When there's virus in your body, like COVID-19, your immune system makes antibodies to fight it off. But it takes time for your body to make new antibodies for a new virus, and in the meantime, you could get very sick. Bamlanivimab contains man-made antibodies that are similar to the antibodies of patients who recovered from COVID-19. Scientists think that these antibodies may help limit the amount of virus in your body. This could give your body more time to learn how to make its own antibodies. Bamlanivimab does not have any COVID-19 virus in it. In a clinical trial, scientists found that bamlanivimab may limit the amount of virus in the body for people with COVID-19 who take the drug within 10 days of symptoms starting. They may also be less likely to need to go to the hospital. The drug is most effective if given within five days of symptom onset. Before you take bamlanivimab, tell your doctor if you have any allergies, any diseases or health conditions, are pregnant or plan to get pregnant, are breastfeeding or plan to start breastfeeding, are taking any medicines including prescription drugs, over-the-counter drugs, vitamins, or herbal products. Bamlanivimab is a treatment option for people with COVID-19 who are at least 12 years old or older, weigh 88 pounds or more, are at high risk from getting very sick from COVID-19, have mild to moderate symptoms from COVID-19 less than 10 days. Research suggests that starting bamlanivimab as soon as possible after diagnosis results in better outcomes. This drug is not for people who are already in the hospital because of their COVID-19 symptoms. The following situations are considered high risk for severe COVID-19 disease. Patients aged 65 or older, those with obesity defined as a body mass index of 35 or higher. Patients with diabetes, chronic kidney disease, or a condition that weakens the immune system, or patients who take medications that weaken the immune system. Patients that are 55 or older and have heart disease, high blood pressure, or a long-term lung disease. For pediatric patients aged 12 to 17, bamlanivimab may be an option if you have obesity defined as a body mass index of greater than the 85th percentile, have heart disease, sickle cell disease, or a long-term lung disease, have developmental conditions like cerebral palsy, or use regularly a medical technology device like a ventilator or feeding tube. If you're not sure whether or not bamlanivimab is right for you, talk with your doctor. You only need to get this medication one time. It's an intravenous infusion, meaning that a nurse will put a small needle into your arm and give the drug slowly over about an hour. The treatment is usually given at a hospital, clinic, or infusion center. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the FDA has given a temporary emergency use authorization for doctors to use bamlanivimab in certain patients. This means that based on the results of the research so far, the FDA has found that the drug may have more benefits than risk in treating COVID-19 during the pandemic. Most patients that have received bamlanivimab have few to no side effects from the infusion. Side effects can range from mild to serious and may include wheezing or trouble breathing, swollen lips, face, or throat, flu-like symptoms, upset stomach, itching, swelling, rash, or hives, dizziness or low blood pressure, or changes in your heartbeat. Tell your doctor right away if you have any side effects during or after your infusion. Some of these side effects may be signs of a serious allergic reaction. You can also report side effects to the FDA MedWatch at www.fda.gov medwatch or by calling 1-800-FDA-1088. Keep in mind that only a limited number of people have taken bamlanivimab and scientists are still learning about its side effects and risk. Serious and unexpected side effects may happen. Because bamlanivimab decreases the virus in your body, it could make it harder for your body to fight off a future COVID-19 infection. 
Patients receiving bamlanivimab should also wait at least 90 days before getting a COVID-19 vaccine after infusion.